The debate over tail docking in Pembroke Welsh Corgis. The Pembroke Welsh Corgi is a beloved breed known for its distinct physical features, including its short stature and adorable little legs. However, one feature that stands out the most is the absence of a long, wagging tail. Tail. This raises the question, what is the history of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi's tail docking? Tail docking, the practice of removing a portion of a dog's tail, has a long history that dates back centuries. It was initially done for practical purposes, mainly to prevent injuries to working dogs. In the case of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, a herding breed with a low-set body, a long tail would be more susceptible to injury when moving livestock. Thus, tail docking became a common practice to protect the dogs from harm. The exact origin of the tail docking tradition in Pembroke Welsh Corgis is not well documented. Some theories suggest that it was introduced by Flemish weavers who migrated to Wales in the 10th century and brought their herding dogs with them. them. These dogs, known as spits breeds, had naturally bobbed tails, and it is believed that their descendants, the Pembroke Welsh Corgis, inherited this trait. Right. Another theory suggests that tail docking in corgis was a result of crossbreeding with other bobtailed breeds, such as the Swedish Valhund. Hunt. The Swedish Valhund, another herding breed, shares many similarities with the Pembroke Welsh Corgi, including their physical appearance and temperament. It is possible that these two breeds interbred, resulting in the development of the corgi's distinct tail characteristics. Regardless of its origins, tail docking became ingrained in the tradition of breeding Pembroke Welsh Corgis. It was widely believed that removing a portion of their tails not only protected them from injuries but also enhanced their agility and ability to perform their herding duties effectively. As a result, tail docking became an essential part of breed standards and was practiced by reputable breeders. However, tail docking has become a controversial practice in recent years. As society's views on animal welfare and ethical treatment have evolved, there has been a growing concern about the unnecessary removal of body parts for cosmetic reasons. Many organizations, including the American Veterinary Medical Association AVMA, have taken a stance against tail docking except for medical reasons. In response to these changing attitudes, various kennel clubs and breed associations have revisited their breed standards and modified their policies regarding tail docking. For example, the United Kennel Club UKC, still allows tail docking for Pembroke Welsh Corgis but encourages breeders to consider the welfare of the dog and only perform the procedure if it serves a legitimate purpose. The debate surrounding tail docking in Pembroke Welsh Corgis extends beyond its practicality and welfare concerns. It also raises questions about the preservation of breed standards and the cultural significance of certain physical traits. Many proponents of tail docking argue that it is an integral part of the breed's identity and should be preserved to maintain the breed's unique characteristics. On the other hand, opponents argue that breed standards should evolve to prioritize the health and well-being of the dogs over aesthetic preferences. They advocate for the natural preservation of tails and believe that the breed's distinctive appearance can still be appreciated without resorting to tail docking. In conclusion, the history of the Pembroke Welsh Corgi's tail docking is rooted in centuries-old traditions of working dogs protection and practicality. While its exact origins may be uncertain, the practice has become deeply ingrained in the breed's standards. However, in recent years, the controversy surrounding tail docking has prompted a re-evaluation of its necessity and ethical implications. As society's attitudes evolve, there is a growing call for breed standards to prioritize the welfare and natural preservation of dogs, encouraging a shift away from cosmetic procedures like tail docking.